So hello everybody, how are you today? It is Friday and it is time for another DAX Fridays, a new DAX function every Friday. So in today's DAX Fridays, we're not going to do one or two, but three DAX functions. And those are the functions that are allowed to use inside Summarize only. Okay, so we've covered Summarized. And uh, I never cover, they, they were introduced afterwards, I don't remember exactly when, but there are three functions. We have roll up, we have roll up grip, and we have is subtotal. And uh, you guys asked me if I could cover them, so here they are. You ready? So, um, we're going to do this using an example because there is a lot of word in here, but it, it, it won't make any sense. So let's go into Power BI, Northwind dataset. This file will be available for you on Kerbal.com, resources, download center, DAX Fridays for download. So you will be able to do this uh, also and follow along if you want. Okay, so Summarize. Summarize allows you to create a summarize table. It's one of those functions where the word says what it does. This is true. So with summarize, let's create a new table. Obviously, you don't have to create this as a physical table. This You can use this as a virtual table to do calculations on it. But just so you see, I think for me it works so well to see what's going on. We're going to actually visualize the tables are created. So we're going to create summarize a table for the sales by year. So we want to have a table that contains the sales by year. Okay. So sales by year table, it is summarized. And then we're going to have obviously our orders, uh, order details. Um, and then we're going to summarize by year. So we need to put the year, calendar year. And then we want to create a new column called total sales that will return the sales. We have a uh, measure called sales that calculates the sales and if we press enter we will get a table summarize returns a table that contains exactly what we told them calendar year and the total sales now the format i don't like it at all so how about we use convert i told you i explained convert last friday i think so <laughs> integer now it is so that intelligence is still not working and i have to spell it right other than that works beautifully so it just converts this into whole number that's it so nothing weird with that so now we have a table that summarizes the sales of northwind data set by year Okay, so what is this roll-up thing? Don't not so happy about the roll-up stuff, but the roll-up thing, it gives you totals and subtotals of your table. So if we want to get the total for the, all the years, the sales for all the years, we just write roll-up there. And then we get it. You saw it? So now we have by year and the total sales for the entire data set. That's what Rollup does. Now, if we want to do, we can actually add more columns to this. So let's put category name. We want to have by year and by category name. And you'll see what it does. So it gives us a table with you have year and category and the total sales. Year and total sales and then total. So it goes through the hierarchy and it gives us the subtotals for everything. Wonderful. Now, what is the roll-up group? If I put, uh, let's see. Yeah, if I put roll-up group in there, instead of roll-up, I put roll-up group, you won't see any difference whatsoever because at the highest level, they do roll up and roll up group do exactly the same. Now, if I put roll up here, 
You see, so we have first roll up and then we have roll up group. Presenter. You see what happened? So it removed the roll up for a year and it just left the year category. So you see, we have now year total sales category name. Then we had year total sales. So total sales by year is gone now. So now we just have year and category name. Okay. Now, the last thing is subtotal. Is subtotal, we are going to do like this. Uh, so you actually see something. So let's add is subtotal. First, a comma. Uh, subtotal year. So I'll show you what it does and then we talk about it. <laughs> It's so much easier. Is sub total year. I think it speaks by itself, right? So this thing is telling us if this row is a subtotal or not. So it says false, 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 true. So this is giving us the you know the the total and this is just the raw data by column by so if you want to just grab either the total total or if you just want to grab you can use true or false so this is a way for you to understand what row is what to be able to do more calculations and obviously you can go in here comma not in there but in where am i you can go in there and then subtotal category, category, there is subtotal, and then category name. And obviously we need to close this. The DAX editor is just bad. <laughs> oh, frustrating. Okay, so now it's doing exactly the same thing for categories. Now, it doesn't make a lot of sense just because we have this roll-up group. If I remove it, it will make more sense. So now you see that we have by year, none of these is subtotal. This, this is a uh, subtotal and this is a total total. So true, true, true. And then for categories, you see this is... Uh, this is just for the categories. I, I don't know what I'm talking. You can see it. You can actually see it. So yeah, um, that's how it works. That's how it works. So uh, I hope that this clarifies these three little functions that are actually very, very useful. So this is all for today. Enjoy your weekend as always. And also as always, I will see you again on Monday. Until then, take care and bye-bye.